Welcome to the PV Analyzer video training series by Solmetric. Solmetric is a leader in solar PV test and measurement equipment, and these short videos are designed to help you get started using the Solmetric products. This particular video will show you how to make PV analyzer measurements, and will explain the different ways of looking at the measurement data. Warning! Testing PV arrays exposes you to lethal levels of electric shock. Don't test PV arrays unless you have appropriate certification, experience, and supervision. Use safe working practices and appropriate personal protective equipment. Once it is connected to a modular string, turn the measurement unit on by pressing the power button, which is located at the front side of the unit next to the charging port. The light on the button will blink to indicate that the unit is searching for the wireless USB adapter. When the wireless connection has been made, notice that the status indicator in the software has changed from No IV Unit to Ready and is now colored green. This means the PV analyzer is ready to take a measurement. To take a measurement, press Measure Now. The measurement process takes only a couple of seconds, after which the results are immediately available in several display screens or tabs. The Table tab lists two columns of key PV performance parameters. One column lists the measured values, and the other column lists the values predicted by your PV performance model. In addition, measured and predicted temperature and irradiance are shown. You can temporarily save measurement results by pressing the Snapshot button. This feature is useful when you are comparing a sequence of measurements to one another. The Verify tab shows a simple percentage value that represents the measured power output as a percentage of the power predicted by the performance model. This percentage is called the performance factor, and it provides a quick and simple method of performance verification. The Traces tab shows a plot of the measured IV curve and PV curve. The current voltage curve, or IV curve, is drawn in red and uses the vertical axis on the left side of the plot. The shape of the IV curve predicted by the performance model is represented by five dots. The first dot is the predicted short circuit current. The third or middle dot is the predicted maximum power point. The fifth or last dot is the predicted open circuit voltage. Two additional dots are also provided to further define the shape of the predicted curve. An IV curve measurement that fits the predicted curve will have a high performance factor. This indicates a healthy modular string. A curve that differs from the predicted shape most likely has a performance issue. Please consult the Solmetric Guide to Interpreting IV Curves for more detailed information. The power voltage, or PV curve, is drawn in blue and uses the vertical axis on the right side of the plot. The maximum power point is shown by the yellow dot at the peak of the PV curve. This point is calculated from the PV curve and is not a prediction of the PV model. The green shaded region indicates the inverter operating range. If the maximum power point is too close to one side of this region, there could be tracking problems at extreme temperatures or as the system ages. In the Traces tab, you can save the results of a measurement by pressing the Save Trace button. Each trace can be stored on the PC in the form of a CSV file which can later be opened in a spreadsheet program such as Microsoft Excel. Data files include a record of all the measurements made by the PV analyzer, as well as the predictions of the performance model. When you test arrays, always save your data in an array tree. The Array tree is a Windows directory tree that matches the architecture of the PV array. A template is provided in the Traces folder. Make a copy of the template and rename the top-level folder with the name of your site. The folders immediately below the site folder represent your inverters. In each inverter folder is a folder for each combiner box, and this is where you save your PV string measurements. Strings are usually labeled with string numbers at the time of construction, and these string numbers can be used as your file names. 
Data saved in this form can easily be imported into the Solmetric IV Data Analysis Tool. The IV Data Analysis Tool provides a convenient method of analyzing PV analyzer data. The tool imports the data from all the saved traces from a site visit and generates tables, charts, histograms, and IV plots that can be used for client reports and to identify problem strings. The IV Data Analysis Tool will be covered in greater detail in a future video. Please remember to pause the IV Measurement Unit by pressing the power button before disconnecting the test leads from the system. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.